I'm going to play some uh, Dark Souls if uh, my if it works. Let's see what's going on here. Actually, I don't know what's going on. Why isn't what what? Uh, okay, um, okay. Steam decided all of a sudden. Oh, I'm not going to work. Oh, um, what the fuck? Okay, here we go. Um, okay, there we go. Hopefully now it works. Um, but yeah, we're going to play some uh, Dark Souls. Uh, last time on Dark Souls, we uh, made it, we, we made it to the Crystal Cave, but I didn't complete it. Um, we did everything in the Duke Archives, but we haven't done the Crystal Cave, and that's where we're going to move to next, um, which shouldn't be too big a deal. Um, there is one thing, though, about the Crystal Caves that is fucking, that, that really fucking sucks. Which is that um, there's many places in the Crystal Cave where you can't see where you're going. You just have to... Um, you can either do one of two things. You can just try and f find it on your own, which means you're going to die a lot. Or you use what's called prism stones to drop them to see uh, if where you're walking has solid ground or not. Or if you're just going to fall and die. So that's what we're going to do right now. Is we're going to finish off uh, the Duke Archives. Go to the Crystal Cave. Now, if you remember from the last stream. Uh, the whole point of doing all of this is to kill uh, Seat the Scaleless. But... Um, when we tried to fight him the first time, we couldn't, I couldn't even do any damage to him and I died. But then we learned that we have to, we have to destroy the primordial, primordial crystal because he's immortal. You have to destroy that crystal first before, um, before um, trying to kill him. Also, he's not going to appear in his archives anymore. Uh, let me turn this down. This is a bit loud for me. He's not going to uh, appear in his archives anymore over there. He's going to go to where his crystal is. Because he's going to try and protect it. So. That was fun. Alright, now we're going into the Crystal Cave, which is where uh, Seat the Scaleless now is. And if it looks uh, fucked up in here, it is. There's another one of these assholes in here. Sometimes you can get them to jump off the edge, but usually not. Okay, and unfortunately I lost, I, oh, he dropped something, yep, blue titanite chunk, they usually drop, when they drop something, they usually drop the blue titanite chunk. Okay, now I've been in the crystal caves many a times, so I know where you can walk and where you can't walk. I don't know all the places you can't walk, but, or where you can and can't walk, but I have a good idea. The first place you can walk is over here. If you just go straight, do you see where those, uh, where that's written down? You can just walk straight across. Now, this is the only one I think you can walk straight across on. 
Actually, I think you can walk straight across on all of them. There are, I believe, two or... Th no, there's four paths, I believe. Okay. So... I already got the item down there, and I'm not sure where you go after that. So we no longer need to go down there. I know we're probably going to miss something, but that's all right. So, so now I have no fucking idea. I have to get from here to way the fuck over there. So, so we have to use these things, these prism stones. And they, these prism stones tell me where I can walk and where I can't. If they land, it means you can walk. Obviously. If it doesn't land, it means you can't walk there. You're going to die if you go that way. Like right there. Now can I walk this way? I can. So I'm going to walk this way. Can I walk this way? I can. So, Yeah, and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to keep fucking doing this. Now these prism stones, oh shit, fall off if you go that way. So, looks like you do need to jump down. Unless there's another way you go, which maybe it's this way. Nope, not that way. It looks like you have to fall down. Okay, so we are going to fall here. Now, there it was a guy there, but we killed that guy, so the guy is gone. So, where the fuck do we go from here? Ah! We go off the edge and die. And I lost all those souls. God damn it. <laughs> So yeah, get used to this. Get used to falling off the fucking edge and dying all the a lot. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember um, all the places you go. So now, what's kind of nice is those prism stones might actually still be there. They probably aren't, but they might be. Now, oh, only three hits that time. That's good. Yeah, don't get too attached to souls. I'm not going to go back for those souls either. Um, there are some secrets in the cave, one or two, but... Now, once you uh, destroy the crystal, it's gone forever, um, which is good. Um, although it doesn't really matter too much.
But probably the most annoying part is once you get through the cave, you still have to fight uh, the boss, which is Seat the Scaleless. And he's, a, he's an asshole. Luckily, there are, there are two big golems uh, in here, but I killed both of them the last time. So you don't see them anymore, which is good. This is the only one that you can run directly across. Oh. Now the question is, can I run across this one? Oh, I can. Let me check it again. Yeah. Okay, cool. You can run. Okay, I did not remember this part that you can run directly across. You have to be careful though. I mean, they do they do give you some hints, but not too many. You don't want to go too far, because it's very easy to fucking fall and die. Oh shit! Ah, oh, god damn it. I just meant to turn. Uh, god fucking damn it. I'm gonna have to buy more uh, prism stones. Well, actually not right now, but... Ah, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so I know I can run up to a point. This is the most trouble I've had with this place, because usually it's not that hard to navigate. This time I'm going to try something stupid. I'm going to try just running past all these fucking golems and seeing what happens. Probably death, but you never know. I don't think they follow they all follow you down. They might. Do they? No, they don't. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know you could run past those guys. It honestly doesn't matter since I keep fucking losing souls. did follow me down. Hopefully he falls off the edge trying to chase me, but we'll find out. Uh, nope. They are just up there. Fuck. They, like, I guess their AI gets fucked up because you didn't kill them. They are not following me down, though, that's for sure. Thankfully, though, this is like the only place in this game where this shit happens. It doesn't happen anywhere else in the game. However, they do bring this back in uh, Dark Souls uh, 3. An area similar to this. So I can go as far as where my souls are, I believe. 
and uh, hopefully get them back. Yep, okay. So now we can just keep going. I think I have to go this way. Yeah. Got to be careful because um, it's easy to fucking slip off and die. And I went too far that time. And, uh, yeah. So it's not always a straight line. It usually is. Um, and look at that. Look at that, how he's positioned. Um... So this leads you back down here. So I guess this is how you get back up, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I went the wrong fucking way. That's the thing. Oh, shit. Maybe I just need to go back up. Well, luckily, I left the path for myself to follow. And then, oh, god damn. And then, I guess, keep going straight. Oh, no! Nope. Okay, well, it doesn't matter anyways. Uh, so, I know what that is now. Doesn't matter that I lost all that stuff. It does matter a little bit that I lost all those fucking souls, but not too much. I'm mostly dying just because I can't remember exactly where all the paths are. See how far this guy will follow me. I'm just curious, actually, because I've never ran past this guy. Okay, he chases me all the way down here. But I wonder if they'll fall off. <laughs> I think after a certain point, they stop chasing you. Nope, they're still coming. Looks like that's the stopping point. Oh. I'm just curious to see if they actually chase you down here. I don't think so. Anyways. This is a straight path. And what I should have done is just gone this way. So if you fall on that ledge, the way you get back up is that way, but... Oh. 
Okay, this is the other bridge. So from here, we know to do this. It's not a complete straight path. There is a point where you'll fall off. I wish I knew where that spot was coming up. Okay, so now we're back on land. Okay, so I am going to take a picture of that. Um, let's print screen really quick. Um, because in case I have to run down again. So there's a... You, you see that you walk all the way down from there, but there is a part um, where you have to turn in the path. There's an item over there... Or uh, I don't know how you fucking get it. I guess you have to go from over here. To get it. Oh. It's just right here. Okay. Soul of the hero. Okay. <laughs> well, I know there's another one too. Which is a path that doesn't go straight. Because this is, this is essentially the path to the boss. Now those things will stay there as long as you're alive. They go it takes like I don't know like 10 minutes for them to go away normally but and we'll see a familiar enemy in here. Fucking crabs. Remember these fucks? Now this room is very fucked up because they don't come logically at you. They come at you one at a time, but they don't come the first closest one doesn't come to you. See, that one was farther away. What you have to do is you have to pull them, but you pull them differently here. Oh, and as you remember from before when we were in Ash Lake, these guys have a chance. Um, actually, I'm going to switch rings. These guys have a chance to drop the, 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 the anti-curse um, stones. So in this part, I'm going to use this ring. This ring. It means I move a little slower, but that's okay.
Yeah, there's actually one over here. Yeah, purging stone. Yep. They they have a chance to drop that, which is pretty awesome. Now, that glowing thing way in the background, that's the primordial crystal. You have to destroy that in order to um, turn uh, seat the scaleless mortal. Another purging stone, nice. Because purging stones are fucking expensive. See, that one from way over there is now attracted here, which makes no fucking sense, but yeah. This is the only room where the, the um, enemies are pulled abnormally. Another purging stone, nice. Yep, that one from way the fuck down there gets pulled. Yeah, like I said, this area is fucked up. So it's best just to wait for him unless you want to fight more than one, which I don't recommend. Oh, shit. See if you drop the Nope, nothing. Okay, so there's only one more left. Okay, all right, so I'm going to switch back because you definitely want mobility against this next boss. Um, now, I don't remember if there's anything back here. I don't think so. No, just one just waiting back here to ambush you. That's all. Here we go. 